Bugatti, the name alone brings up images of multi-million dollar quad-turbo monsters. The company has always had a penchant for speed. I mean, their history of chasing records goes back all the way to 1903, when Ettore Bugatti went over 100 km per hour in his self-developed 12.8 litre four-cylinder racer. And from then, records and milestones were destroyed by the company. Fast forward to the 21st century and the thunderous roar of the Bugatti W16 engine has pushed production cars over 400 km per hour in iconic hypercars like the Veyron and the Chiron. But as the industry shifts towards electrification, a new chapter unfolds for Bugatti. The brand now under the guidance of electric vehicle pioneers Rimac, the company behind the insane Navira, are now poised to unveil the successor to the W16. And luckily, this new Bugatti won't be all electric like the Nibira. No, this new motor will be a hybrid-assisted V16 engine, keeping the roar of the combustion engine alive. But I feel like before diving into the details of this new powertrain, it's crucial to acknowledge the legacy of its predecessor, the W16. This engineering marvel, a quad-turbocharged wonder, was more than just an engine. It was a symbol of Bugatti's relentless pursuit of performance and technological innovation. By the way, I made a super in-depth video on this engine, which I'm sure you would love, so go and watch that video after this one. But in this one, let me summarize. The W16 was born from the ingenious minds of engineers. You see, the W16 was essentially two narrow-angle V8s meticulously combined around a common crankshaft. This unique configuration resulted in a compact yet incredibly powerful engine capable of unleashing over 1500 horsepower in its most potent iteration. The W16's reign as the pinnacle of internal combustion engineering cemented Bugatti's position as a manufacturer of the world's most coveted and awe-inspiring hypercars. Like I said, if you want a technical deep dive, watch my full video, but let's continue. Now while the W16 leaves behind an undeniable legacy, Bugatti isn't resting on its laurels. Embracing the changing automotive landscape, the brand has unveiled its successor, a hybrid-assisted V16 engine. This announcement, accompanied by a carefully curated video, offers a glimpse into the future of Bugatti's powertrains, leaving us eager to unravel the mysteries it holds. The official video showcases the engine in captivating detail, the centerpiece, is its stunning carbon fiber induction plenum, adorned with the iconic Bugatti name and the V16 inscription. Intricate details, such as the firing order displayed on the plenum, hint at the meticulous engineering that lies beneath. And while the video doesn't reveal any specific details about the engine's capacity or power output, the presence of two throttle bodies on each side of the plenum feeding sets of four cylinders suggests a significant power potential. The accompanying audio track offers the first taste of the engine's characteristics. While it may not possess the high-pitched scream of a naturally aspirated V12, the new V16 boasts a crisper and more aggressive tone compared to the outgoing W16. In fact, in my opinion, the stock W16 isn't the best sounding hypercar engine out there. But this new engine sounds awesome and kind of race car like. Just take a listen. Beyond the visual and auditory glimpses, questions linger. The video strategically conceals the area beneath the plenums, leaving the exact configuration of the engine and the nature of its hybrid system shrouded in mystery. Is it a full hybrid capable of independent electric driving, or is it a mild hybrid system that simply supplements the V16's power delivery? Only time will tell. By the way, with Bugatti's history, I do believe that this engine will have the quad turbo setup. I mean, they have been using it since the EB110, and I can't see them changing it now. Anyways, while the official details remain scarce, educated guesses can be made about the new V16's power potential, considering the Chiron Supersport's existing 1,578 horsepower output and the recent trend of 2,000 horsepower electric hypercars, it wouldn't be surprising if the new V16 surpasses the 1,500 horsepower mark and is placed closer to the power of the Navira. However, packaging this new V16 possesses potential challenges. You see, the W16's compact 
design achieved by combining two narrow V8s might not be as easily replicated with a hybrid system. This raises the possibility of the Chiron successor requiring a longer wheelbase to accommodate the new additional components of the powertrain. Also, Bugattis are already known for their heft. Now imagine a longer car with electric components and the big engine. This is going to be a heavy car, which will definitely hamper its agility even more. Anyways, to end it off, the unveiling of Bugatti's new V16 marks a pivotal moment in the brand's history. It signifies a bold step towards a hybrid future while honoring the legacy of the W16. As the details slowly emerge, one thing remains certain. Bugatti is determined to retain its position at the forefront of automotive innovation, shaping the future of, of hypercars while staying true to its heritage of exceptional performance and unparalleled engineering prowess. But at the end of the video, please let me know what you think of this new engine Bugatti is developing. What do you think of them going V16 with hybrid? I do wonder why they didn't just keep the W configuration and just added hybrid onto that. Because with the W configuration, you are allowed to make the engine a lot shorter. With the V16, it's going to be quite a long engine, which does take up a lot of space. And as I said, it will make the car bigger. So I don't know why they shifted from the W configuration. Maybe they'll, they'll explain it as more details come out. But let me know what you think. If you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. And if you guys did like it, you'll most probably like most of my other stuff. So just go through my channel. See if there's something else you like. I'll check you guys in the next one. Cheers, eh?